At about 1800 meters above sea level sits Kotagiri and Kodanad. And since this part of the Nilgiris is open to the plains below, you will notice multiple and stunning weather transitions throughout the day. I visit the Nilgiris multiple times a year. And after all these years, I still prefer, choose and recommend traveling via Mysore and Bandipur. The route via Hosur, Krishnagiri and uh, Metupaliam is a little too long, probably a little too boring. And if you take the route via Bandipur, odds are you will find a fair bit of wildlife. Deer for sure, sometimes elephants. If you're really lucky, probably tigers too. The expressway to Mysore is about 65, maybe 70% done. The sections of the expressway that are due completion are the elevated part of the expressway and the bypass roadways, which bypass major towns like Bidhi, Ramnagara, Madhur and Mandya. The border crossing at Mudumalai is very crowded on the weekends, so if circumstances permit, try vacationing during the week. And as soon as you enter Tamil Nadu, you notice that the roads are much better. I was more than happy and prepared to ride in the rain. As for me, I had two layers of raincoat on and for my luggage, I had two layers of rainproofing.
All right, so we are in Kotagiri and this is Bel Air Cottage. Well, that's what it was called a long time ago. Uh, I had come here sometime in 2012 or 13 or maybe even 14. And this building that you see was the only building in the property. And now the property, which apparently was much larger than it seemed to be back then, has other buildings and other hotel rooms in its vicinity. Hi. Hello. You do get a nice view from the lawn and the property also has a full-fledged restaurant. And these are the new rooms that I was talking about. And the room that I stayed in, it was a very basic room, luxury actually, in fact, for a solo traveler like me. But for a family or a friend situation, I wouldn't really recommend this property. Or at least this room. And here's the massive three-piece bed where you can accommodate at least six hippies. The most important aspect of the room that you book should be its balcony. And the balcony here was okay, good for two people and probably a small side table too. The road from Kotagiri to Kodanad is dotted with picturesque scenes and landscapes. And the foggy neighborhood near Kodanadu viewpoint is where I'd hopefully build a home, if not today, at least tomorrow. Just about four five hundred meters before Kodanadu view point you find Deccan View restaurant. It's a nice place where you can have lunch and of course the place where I stayed in for the evening. So here's my room at Paradise Peak Cottage. It has large windows, it's bloody neat, has a great balcony and it was much more than what I was looking for.
Let's go. It even had a proper TV unit. And it was this view that made me feel that it was money well spent. Kodanad viewpoint is about 3-400 meters from Paradise Peak Cottage, just down the road. And this tree is a complete mood by itself. If the weather gods bless you, you get a view of the Moya River flowing into Bhavani Sagar Dam. If I'm not wrong, the TNSTC buses come to Kodanada viewpoint at least once an hour. They will ferry you to Kotagiri, Kunur and Uti. Thank you guys for watching this rather lengthy video and yes, skip Uti and check out this part of the Nilgiris. I promise you, it's completely worth it.